Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome to the Geeky Sandbox. We're back. We're back into Marvel Land and we're back with Marvel Studios Secret Invasion. Yes, there is an official, 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 official trailer, <laughs> which will give us another inside look into what we can expect with this show that is going to be led by no other than Sam Jackson. Someone that I'm like, man, acting career wise, that's what I want. That's what I want. This man's in everything. He does great in everything. And no matter how weird or bad the character may be written, he sells it every time. <laughs> but I think we have a lot to look forward to with this. So uh, before we get into it, guys, of course, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos like this, especially if you are wanting to keep yourself up to date with the ever changing cycle with Marvel right now. I know there's a lot of changes going on. There's a lot of stuff as uh, things are still figured out regarding regarding Jonathan Majors. There's still a lot going on with them possibly pulling sequels. Like I heard that they were not thinking about doing another Ant-Man. They're thinking about pushing forward a Doctor Strange, but then not really. And there's just a lot going on with a lot of different changes that they're there are whispers about, I'll say that for sure. I never got to release a timeline video of what we can expect with phase five. And I'm almost like, you know what, maybe it was a blessing in disguise because now everything's kind of like shifted and changed uh, with some of the projects that they're kind of taking their time on because they realize that they kind of want to go more quality over quantity. Um, and so we'll see what shows make it, what don't. Uh, so I'll have to take a deep dive into the current look at what phase five has to offer and be able to share that with you guys. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and watch this trailer. Fury. The jacket? Since you've been gone. Got the paranoid look around here, you know? Things have gotten much worse. I wonder how long he's been gone. Why do you think I came back? He's like, can't have shit in Detroit. I have to come back. You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us, old friend. Ah. Oh. I was just saying how he's literally in everything to a friend. This is personal. Very few of us know about the wars fought in the shadows that have raged on this planet. Do you feel responsible? Oh, eye patch coming off. The series here. Where are the Avengers? This war is one I have to fight alone. Oh, the end is closer. I don't want him to die. You're the most wanted man on the planet. You don't know what they have planned for you. The Great Neck Fury. June 21st, man. Ah, oh, that's squall green and I love it. I'm excited, all right? The whole question when they're like, where are the Avengers when all this stuff is going on, right? Fury knows that right now there is literally, there's not a team. <laughs> Tony's dead, Thor is off world, but Hulk is technically, well, he, he just got back, but he has his own stuff going on, which I won't spoil if you guys haven't seen the She-Hulk series, but he's got his own stuff going on. He's visiting with his cousin also to top that off you have sam who's just coming into being captain america steve rogers is either dead or just gone somewhere else uh bucky is going to be um with the uh thunderbolts and so you just you just kind of have a lot going on a lot of moving pieces that aren't quite coming together to form a new team we still have some young avengers that are still 
bit a bit too experienced to be together yet or haven't met yet or aren't formed yet so there's a lot going on and so i understand why he's like this is something i've got to do by myself i do feel like he has this deeper connection to the scrolls considering everything that happened with captain marvel if you guys haven't seen captain marvel i highly suggest that you watch that movie before you watch the secret invasion i think it could give you some insight into what what the scrolls are like in the mcu i might even tell you to watch watch wandavision that's all i'll say on that i like this idea of them posing the question being like hey i mean this is really bad this is serious can we ask for some help but the other thing i think some people aren't thinking about and by some people i mean the people in the universe who can he really trust? He could literally call up Sam and Sam could, it could not be Sam. You know what I mean? I'm really afraid that they may pull some sort of, so-and-so was a scroll all along and they died in Endgame. And that's like something they may do. I'm not sure, but I want them to do something so shocking that it will have people talking about it forever. Because I saw this really good comment when somebody talked about the trailer without spoiling it. They said, this is exactly the flip that the MCU needs. This serious tone, this, this very like stakes are high type of thing. And I think I completely agree with them. This is the tone that I'm looking for to kind of get me back into everything. Because, you know, a lot of us talk about whether we feel if, Phase five is even worth going to see, right? I'm the type of person where I'm like, oh, I don't care. I love Marvel. I love superhero movies. I know people get tired of them. I'm not going to. I love them. I have fun with them. But I know some people are worried that they're running out of steam. Uh, my cutie being one of them, even uh, my therapist <laughs> who was talking about Marvel at the end of one of our sessions uh, said something similar about, um, you know, being worried about the state of Marvel after uh, Ant-Man and just, or excuse me, not Ant-Man, but after um, everyone's expectations were set in a different place regarding the different phases, because Wakanda Forever ended phase four, and then Ant-Man was the start of phase five. And some people don't feel like Ant-Man was strong enough. There's a lot going on about the special effects and things like that. Um, obviously, I thought that Jonathan Majors' performance was really great as Kang, and Kang set a nice precedent for, we need some kind of villain for everybody to come together against at the end right or even if he's like a uh, a villain junior and the bigger villain is something somebody like galactus or something like that we just need something to kind of get everybody going um and i think this could lead us to that to that place where we eventually get secret wars and all this other stuff going on i know people had their different opinions regarding wakanda forever and regarding ant-man personally i liked wakanda forever i know you guys haven't seen a review from me yet please be patient with me and look out for that because i still do want to talk to you guys about it and I think I will make it a uh, spoiler review because it's been a while, obviously. I know some people had different expectations for who the Black Panther was going to be versus who it was. And I know that that kind of, you know, changed a few things for them, not regarding uh, Chadwick, uh, may his soul rest in peace, but regarding the people that are still existing in the MCU, those characters who they could pull from and be the new Black Panther. Some people wanted them to go in a different direction. A lot of people's faith in the MCU and everything they're doing and probably getting overwhelmed with all the TV shows and stuff like that has kind of like split the uh, moviegoers in half. You know, everybody's wanting something different. Some people are getting a little tired, but I still think that there's a lot of potential here. And I think that Secret Invasion might be the thing that flips that. Now, of course, on the other hand, you get into that territory where you are going to start maybe missing some stuff because they can't make a movie about everything. <laughs> so they are going to make some shorter stories or a little like, you know, chapter here or there that will be in the form of a TV show. It all comes down to, you know, how much information is given there. Do I need to watch all of X in order to understand Z uh, or Y or Z? And a good example of that is Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, right now, I am so behind on my Five Nights at Freddy's lore, but I get all that stuff from Matt Pat. Shout out to Game Theory. <laughs> um, Steven does it as well. But it's one of those things where there are so many books, there are so many comic books that uh, just there's so much there that that is that contributes. Some of it contributes to the lore and some of it isn't canon, but like it's still stuff that helps you understand everything that's going on. And because there's just so much there with Marvel, it's been going on for years and years and years so at some point they want to pull older material or pull stories we haven't heard before rather than making 20 movies all across the span of four months it makes sense that they're trying to make 
bite-sized stories. Some I think will be independent. I don't think they'll have anything to do with the overall MCU like storyline. Some will be like kind of isolated the way Jessica Jones and those stories were at first. But then you will have some like maybe this one here, Secret Invasion. You have a main character like Nick Fury. It will probably affect the main storyline. So it all comes down to what are you comfortable watching? Honestly, I like I always say, you don't have to watch everything. If you feel like that ruins the experience for you, then of course, you know, there's plenty of channels like mine and New Rock Stars and Real Rejects and just several channels like that that will get you caught up on everything uh, that you miss regarding all the MCU shows. But yeah, I definitely understand people being overwhelmed and I definitely understand people maybe wanting to slow down a little bit, but I definitely feel like giving Secret Invasion a chance, especially if you want a bit of that old MCU vibe, especially people that are like, I liked phase one and two. I definitely think this kind of fits that bill. I think I said last year that this is probably my most anticipated show that period. I think this is my most anticipated show. But yeah, if you like this one guys, go ahead and give me a like written down below. I just more so wanted to talk about the ramifications of what this trailer means, what this movie, or excuse me, what this series means for the MCU moving forward, and the tone that they're trying to set and reset. Because DC has something to prove, Marvel has something to prove, both as these huge comic book just powerhouses that are trying not to fade out of relevance, right? Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.